Mary meets everyone. Um, I'm going to be talking about Sawin. Uh, I got this book a couple of days ago, and it's on by Silver Raven Wolf. And this is the Halloween spell recipe book for her. Um, I love her. She has a lot of good books. Um, this is actually my third, actually, my third book on, on her. And um, I definitely needed some guidance in Sawin since I am new to Wicca. And um, so I wanted to see what to do for my first Samhain um, holiday. And I got this book, and it definitely has guided me a lot. And I have a couple of questions for all the um, Wiccans and Pagan community. Uh, what I have a couple of questions. So let's start with, first I'm going to say what I'm going to be doing. For, for what I've read, um, I'm going to be doing an offering um, for the, the dead, okay, or an, or an ancestor. So, and they basically say that you could light up a candle, and if you have a picture of them, put the picture next to you, and basically um, just light the candle and make a prayer. And it's very, very nice. I like that. That's beautiful. Okay, here we go. The prayer of offering. Okay, and basically a picture of your loved one, an offering of your choice, and a white votive candle, which I really like that. So that looks like a nice, um, beautiful ritual to do. Another ritual that I was looking at was the prosperity pumpkin spell. It looks very nice, um, and I wanted to try that as well. And and do a and cast a circle, of course. Um, and call the quarters and do offering and they go very into detail with that so that's pretty much pretty much what I have in mind of what to do so my first question is what are your um, what are you planning to do for Samhain um, just you don't get, have to get into detail just a general overview how do you celebrate Samhain okay and um, exactly what it is that uh, you like to do for that day. So that's basically my question. And if there's anything I, that you should do a week prior to Samhain um, that I should know, or you know, that since I'm a newbie to, to Wicca, uh, what is good uh, to do a couple of days beforehand, um, before Samhain? And uh, what other thing? Oh, and I saw a lot of things about speaking to the dead, okay, in this book. Kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit scary. Not scary, but, you know, it's kind of um, a, a, a tough topic. Have you done this before? Have you, you know, have you actually had messages or any kind of special encounter um, in, in the day of Samhain, um, and those are my three questions. So if you don't mind sharing, please, I will be more than glad to answer questions that maybe you might have for me, but if you can help me with this, that would be great. Um, and love to share with the Pagan and Wigan community because I love to learn more and more. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, regarding updates now, um, I didn't. I haven't posted the the new um, tutorial this week. It's been a little hectic for me this week, um, but I will post the Empress uh, tutorial probably over the weekend with the Hierophant together. It's been a little bit of a hectic week for me, so I most likely would do that on Sunday, if not sooner. Okay. And that's basically it. I'm getting to my readings slowly but surely. So if I haven't gone to you, I will be there very soon. And that's basically it. So many blessings to you. And um, uh, I hope that uh, you have a beautiful and lovely Halloween and Samhain.